What's good, everybody? So I heard the news and I'm hoping that it's true. This is the buzz that's going around, but I hope that it's true because she definitely deserves this. The buzz around town is that Angela Bassett could be nominated for an Oscar in her role in Wakanda Forever as T'Challa's mother. Now, I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm going to be seeing the movie uh, pretty soon. But from the critics and from what other people are saying, that this is a really, really good movie and that she did her thing in this film. So before I give you my thoughts about this, let's go to the article and get the rundown. According to Variety, it says Wakanda Forever star Angela Bassett could be the first Oscar nominated actor from the Marvel Centromatic Universe. It says, don't call Black Panther Wakanda Forever just another comic book movie. Helmed by Ryan Coogler, the, two, the sequel to the 2019 Best Picture nominee delivers a wretched story of grief and reclamation, reclamation as the family of T'Challa, played by the late Chadwick Boseman, adjusts to a world coping of, with his death. At the center of the saga is Angela Bassett, Ramonda, the queen mother of Wakanda, who carries the devastating loss of her child with the stunning resolve. Bassett's ferocious work will undoubtedly descend upon a wide open Oscar race for best supporting actress. Now, for those of y'all who don't know about this, is that she was nominated for an Oscar years ago, her and Lawrence Fishburne, for their roles as Ike and Tina Turner. And if you did not see the Ike and Tina Turner movie, What's Love Got to Do With It? I strongly recommend you see that movie because they played the hell out those parts. It wasn't just her, it was both of them. But her as Tina Turner, hands down, she played the hell out that part, played that shit not to a T, but to a Z. Lawrence Fishburne as Ike Turner, we already know what he did. And in my opinion, they got robbed because they should have definitely won those Oscars. You know, but that was then and this is now. So um, the movie Black Panther 2 has been getting a lots and lots and lots of great praises. People have been talking about how good this film is, the writing, the story, everything about this film. And some people are saying it's kind of um, might be a little bit better than the first one. Now, this is just what I've been reading and about the, uh, the reviews of it. So I'm going to be seeing it this week and I'm going to let you guys know my thoughts about it. But if this is true, that the Oscar buzz is going around, that she could be nominated, I damn sure hope that she wins because she deserved it. Angela Bassett to me is a really good talent. She's doing her thing in Hollywood for years and even movies that wasn't that good. But every time she stepped on the field, she did her thing. And you cannot say that you've seen her in a movie where you was not pleased with her performance. That's how good of an actress that she is. You know, and not to say anything bad about the Oscars, you know, because everybody gets snubbed at the Oscars. You know, everybody gets snubbed because I remember when The Godfather was nominated for awards and uh, they didn't win. And a lot of people felt that Al Pacino should have won for The Godfather. Even other actors who they voted and said, hey, I voted for Al Pacino and he didn't win. So I was shocked that he didn't do that. And I'm pretty sure in this case, when uh, her and Lawrence Fishburne did What's Love Got to Do With It, a lot of people voted for them, but overall, it didn't happen. So now we're in a new year, new day, new film. And I just hope that the sister gets it. 
overall, I just hope that she gets it because she has been well overdue. And I have not seen all the other uh, people that's been nominated or what films that's going to be going up against her, you know, but I just hope and pray that she gets this because if she does, this is going to be a really big thing and it's going to be really good for her. Now, some people might say, oh, well, you know, they might just give her the Oscar because, you know, it's Black Panther. It's a black film. Stop that bullshit. OK, it ain't got nothing to do with that. If she gets this Oscar win, it's because she deserves it and she's a hell of an actress. And as I said, if you don't believe me, look at her work, go back and watch What's Love Got to Do With It with her and Lawrence Fishburne. And if you look at her performance in there and all the other movies she's done, and even up to now, you will say, yeah, she got robbed. She should have won. So I'm hoping that this is true with the Oscar buzz, and I'm hoping that she wins because Lord knows she deserves it. I'm keeping my fingers and my toes crossed. But we'll just have to see when all the information comes out about the Oscar nominees and everything. But overall, I'm still going to go see this film. Check it out. Support it. Because I want to see what the hype is all about. I want to see where they're going to be going with this film. How they're going to move into the next phase. Because I'm pretty sure... This is not the end of the Black Panther franchise. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a part three. So I just want to see how this is going to set up for a part three. So you all leave you your comments below. Let me know how you feel about this. Angela Bassett, the Oscar buzz around town that she could be nominated for an Oscar. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And until then, holla at your boy.